All right, open this up, hit that, and you see we have a nice little graph thing here. And if you want to be extra fancy, <laughs> I'm just doing this because copy and pasting is super easy to do. Welcome everyone to another C Sharp tutorial. And this is actually going to be a tutorial, so t tutorial um, for another user, or actually another person's request. Uh, tutorial for, and I think, yeah, I don't even know how to pronounce that name. I always butcher names, especially YouTube names. Um, so I don't, I'm not gonna try. Anyways, so getting started with this one, um, we're gonna do a Windows Form application to save on time and start it. And we're going, let's see, open this up a little bit. And basically, this um, tutorial is to help someone. Um, at least this person draw a set of data so like a set of points into a graph so um, what we're gonna do then is let's see we'll just draw it to the screen and we will have a button to make it draw like that and then we'll do two number where are they number pickers or whatever they're called numeric up downs okay copy another one to pick the x and y let's see it says number one and number two will be y and we'll use another button to add it in fact you know what we'll just combine those it'll add and draw um all right so first thing we need is to store that set of data so we need point and then make it array pts for points equals uh, new point and then uh, we'll just do we'll do like a thousand of them all right now the next part on click in fact yes oh one more thing got to add int count so that we know where inside of this array we are at what position it's equal to zero we'll start at zero and then pts equals new point and in fact pts and then count plus plus just like that um equals new point um int numeric up down one dot value go and then numeric up down two dot value all right and I need to make that int don't I yes I do int so it's an integer and then down here we're gonna go let's see four pts actually int i equals zero while i is less than and don't worry i will explain all this and i'll go ahead and zoom in on this so you can see a little bit better what we're doing here a lot better actually um well i is less than let's see pt actually count count i plus plus just like that all right now Instead of here, we will go and we need um, int previous x is equal to zero right now. int previous y is equal to well, actually, let's make it make it negative ten. That way, we know it's a negative and it's not the right one. So yeah, negative ten and um, down here we go. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this dot create graphics. Dot, um, oh, you know what? Probably a better way to do this is just no. But that's a beezer. He wants a graph. I'll do a line graph. All right. Um, dot create graphics. Dot draw line between. Okay, new pen brushes. Dot black. 
four pixels wide so you guys can see. Um, point one is going to be a new point, which it will be point, and then it will be um, previous x and then previous y. So we can draw in between the one point and the other point, and then from that point and the next point, etc. Um, and then this will be um, p t s and then um, I just like that now I could do I minus one but then you'd have a problem well you know what I could probably do that and not have to use the previous X and previous Y because if I do I minus one but it's gonna have to well okay that's what we'll do never mind ignore this piece um, and then this is going to be um, PPS I minus one, and then I need a statement to make sure it doesn't throw an error at me because errors are hard to duck away from. So if I is equal to zero, well, she is not equal to zero, do that, and then this will run, but um, else. Um, this uh, graphics, yes, this thing. Let's see, I minus one between I, and we'll just leave it like that so that it doesn't draw anything. Really, it'll just draw between those two points, it'll be a dot, but whatever. All right, now let me look over this code and I'll explain it. So the points is where we store the x, um, a sets of x and y values. And then the count is what position we are inside of those points. And then we go count plus plus. And I set this as a thousand so we can store a thousand values in there. Um, count plus plus moves it along that um, position. So if this is zero, it'll be at position zero in this array. And then plus plus will add one after it adds it to position zero. So this is how we add our. Um, values in and then this converts that value to int because that's what point requires our int values and numerical up and down actually gives a decimal I think so that's why we have to convert it or double no it's a decimal and then this cycles through all of them and draws here for each of those all right um, I think we can test it out now here's the only problem is that this will only graph points that can be visible on the screen but whatever we'll just go with that open this all the way up to give us some room we'll start with a hundred uh a hundred that's not gonna draw anything there because it's only one point and then we're gonna do okay this is x here so now we're gonna go to 120 and then we'll go add that oh wait Oh my limit! Ah, see that's a problem. It's now adding them all as 100, 100 because the max value set on here is 100, and I need it to be more like a thousand. Yeah, see that? It prevents me from doing anything larger than that. So let's hope this works. Okay, 100 and 10 and 110, just because it's easy. Hit that button. 120 now. There we go. We got our first line. Now we go 100. And 30 and we'll do 150 and then we go boom like that and you know etc we can add all these in right and make it correspondingly it'll graph this thing so instead of doing it that way because this is going to take forever to add them in uh let's do it a quicker way which is <clears throat> let's see we'll remove this line And then we'll go points equals this, like that, and then new point, and comma, and then we're going to just copy and paste and do like a hundred of these. Just, well, not a hundred, like that's probably good. Oh, you know what, I probably should have put values in there so I could change it, but anyways, yeah, hundred, 
100. And then we'll change this slightly and as we go down. That's good. And then we can go ahead and run this and click this button and, and nothing happens. And you wonder why nothing happens. So you go back here and you realize that um, you have count. Yeah, there it is. Count. And count is zero dot length. So we need dot length here because and the reason is is because this is going to be set at zero. And so it's just not going to execute. Well, it'll execute once, but just this point. Um, but then PTS dot length will just take the length of this thing. All right this up hit that and you see we have a nice little graph thing here and if you want to be extra fancy <laughs> I'm just doing this because copy and pasting is super easy to do we'll make it like oh wait but now I'm going to have to change all the x values well whatever we'll do that um, I feel like I have to sneeze <laughs> like that All right, and there we have a set of points being graphed, and that is all for now. I think, yes, that is. So I'll see everyone later. Please rate, comment, subscribe, send in your own requests. This took me ten minutes. I'm perfectly willing as long as it's a fairly good request that involves graphics and it helps. If you're a subscriber, if you're a subscriber, I'll definitely try to help you out in some way. Um. And also, if the last guy, okay, this message, you guys can close the window off. This is just for the last guy that sent me a request in. Um, um, his name was like Croesus or something. Um, I am working on that code of yours. I'm going to try to make it work better um, and just show you what it does and all that. But it's going to take me a little while because I've got other things i got to do. Um, but maybe in a week I'll have it done or a few days. I don't know. Um, that's it for now. See everyone later. Bye.